Hi there, oh, welcome to my views and news. Uh, three news stories. Firstly, some arrests have been made by the Ethiopian military in Alamata city. Have TDF members been arrested by the military in Alamata? Secondly, uh, Fano spread some leaflets in Wuldia city yesterday. What was written on these pamphlets? Thirdly, Ethiopian refugee and returning service issued a statement last night. The statement was issued after uh, UN refugee agency shared details of the plight of Sudanese refugees in Ethiopia who are under attack, who are complaining lack of services, who are fleeing. Ethiopia towards uh, Sudan border. So, what is Ethiopian government's position? Was there any attack on Sudanese refugees allegedly by an Amhara militia? First of all, uh, Southern Zone, Raya Elamata, Koram, Ofla, Churcher, Zata, where we know that last month. Tigray fighters took control of large parts of Southern Zone. But they could not take full control of uh, Alamata city. They did enter Alamata city, uh, but only a few of them managed uh, to enter Alamata city. Alamata city was under uh, military control. Federal police is also deployed here. But we have been hearing that uh, Tigray fighters have been trying to enter Alamata city. They want to increase their numbers in Alamata city. The other side, Amhara residents are also very alert and uh, they are monitoring each and every movement of Tigray fighters around Alamata city. All around Alamata, there is all, almost all around Alamata city, there is presence of Tigray fighters. Uh, more on Koram side, more on eastern side and western sides than on southern side. In Alamata city, security forces are patrolling the streets. Uh, I think roads are open. Alamata to Kobu, Alamata to Koram roads open. Yesterday, we heard about entry of a few TDF members. When we say TDF members, we mean those who are uh, from Tigray militias, Tigray forces. Because Return of IDPs has not begun so far in Southern Zone. No one has confirmed so far, military, Tegarai or anyone, that uh, IDPs are returning to their homes in Southern Zone. So those who are entering Alamata city, they are mostly armed people from Tegarai and they want to Take control of Alamata city like they have taken control of Korum, etc. Yesterday, uh, some groups of Tigray fighters entered Alamata individually. As I said earlier, Amharas have been alert there. I think the mayor, Helu Abira, has returned to Alamata city. Though he fled the city uh, last month when Tigray fighters entered Korum and Amhara militias fled to. But he returned after a few days. The Amhara residents, Amhara groups, they informed the Ethiopian National Defense Force that some Tigrayan uh, people had entered Talamata city. If your military took action, around 10 arrests have been made in Alamata city reportedly. So, so far, military is not willing to let ADF in Alamata. And we heard a few days ago that military told Tigray fighters to leave Korum and other parts of Southern Zone too, but still all other uh, areas are under Tigray control. The extent of uh, Alamata city military is trying to ensure that it is in control here. Amhara militia is gone, Amhara government dismantled, gradually uh, government institutions are being told to restart their work. Even that is very controversial issue. Who are 
the members of government uh, departments, officials, or the Amhara, or the Tigrayans, will Tigray accept them, those who were part of uh, provisional administration here. So all this, these issues will be sorted out in coming days, gradually, step by step, with coordination of both parties. And for that, you need obviously coordination between military and Tagaraya side and Amhara side as well. So far, around 10 arrests in Alamata city being confirmed to us. Arrested people are from Tagara reportedly. Arrests by Ethiopian military. Second viewers, uh, Pano groups uh, spread some leaflets uh, in Voldia yesterday. I think this is the right word, so bad maybe because they, they were not distributing uh, leaflets in Alam, in Voldia. Rather, they just secretly uh, spread uh, the leaflets in different parts of Voldia city. So, what is written on these uh, leaflets? Message from Fano for the people of Voldia city. Uh, Fano, which Fano? Uldiya Fano means uh, Wolofano. Wolofano is now a merger of uh, Eastamara Fano of uh, Mary Vadojo and Wolofano of uh, Colonel uh, Pantahun, Colonel Bogus. Message is for people that uh, there are some people who are operating in the name of Fano, disguised as Fano. They are robbing people, they are not two Fano people. Secondly, that Fano groups are fighting for Amhara people. So, Amhara people should support Fano because this fight is not for Fano's personal gains, personal interests. Fight is for Amhara interests. Uh, thirdly, a warning that if anyone is found involved in Wuldia city supporting the military, uh, he will be fixed. He will not be allowed to carry out such activities. Uh, so, this is what is happening in uh, Buldia. Fano groups trying to push towards Dasi to reportedly. Uh, once I have uh, verified information, I'll share it with you. Reportedly, they want to move towards Dasi city. They have managed to reach close to Dasi, by the way. They have been there for days. They are trying to make a move towards Dasi city into the Dasi city, reportedly. Earlier viewers, Ethiopian Refugee and Returnee Service issued a statement last night. This week, uh, UN Refugee Agency issued uh, details of what Sudanese refugees are going through in Ethiopia. This last year, when war broke out in Sudan in April, around 1,000 people entered Ethiopia from Sudan. And Ethiopians are there too in uh, returning to their country from Sudan and Sudanese as well. Now, 30,000 Sudanese have entered Ethiopia as refugees in the last uh, one year or so. They've been kept at camps. They enter Benishangalgoma region and Amhara region. There is a camp in Benishangalgoma, two camps in Amhara as well, Olala and Kumar camps. And uh, this week, a UN agency, uh, refugee agency, confirmed that uh, the uh, Kumar camp came under an attack by Amhara militia members uh, who looted the belongings of refugees. Uh, allegedly, four women have been raped so far in these attacks on Sudanese refugees. The refugees started fleeing the camp. Around 1,000 fled. Then Ethiopian security force intervened and they detained refugees and brought them back to camps. There was a protest at Olala refugee camp too close to the border with Sudan. Refugees stayed just sit, sit in. They said that they were not uh, receiving enough food, enough health care. So they started marching towards Sudan border. The camp is close to Ethiopia Sudan border, but they were stopped there. Then all that has been confirmed by Ethiopian. Uh, refugee and returnee service. The refugee and returnee service of Ethiopia says that yes, it is aware of these incidents. It acknowledges the need to enhance 
uh, humanitarian arrangements and security arrangements for these refugees in Ethiopia. But uh, the government is facing scarcity of resources. There are uh, limited resources available that the international community should step in and support the Ethiopian government. The Ethiopian government did not challenge the report shared by uh, the UN agency. It means that the government is confirming that attacks have been carried out on Sudanese refugees in Ethiopia, that uh, the situation, the conditions at the camps are not uh, uh, suitable. Uh, people suffering there. Let's see how the Ethiopian government and UN authorities uh, take care of these Sudan people. Sudan people fled, fled Sudan and now they are facing crisis in Ethiopia. They want to return to their country. They say war in Sudan is better than the conditions at camps in Ethiopia. Ethiopians also fled into Sudan from Ethiopia in the two year long war. But we never heard of attacks on Ethiopia under Sudanese territory by Sudanese people. Here, uh, since Amhara region is a destabilized region, uh, there is lawlessness in parts of the Amhara region. That is why such attacks are happening. It is the responsibility of Ethiopian government to provide security and safety to these Sudanese refugees. Thank you for watching.